it's time for a studio tour, y'all. Come on in. So here is the wide angle and we can start over here by the front door and kind of talk through all the different spaces. So here at the entryway, I have an old kitchen chair with my embroidery bag on it, a space heater, Ikea drawers, record player, new to me, but I got it used. Um, then this easel I've actually had in the garage for several years because I didn't have room for it in the house. And I'm really excited about having the possibility to use an easel. For now, I have a mood board up. These are some family photos that I have printed on fabric to test for a project that I want to do. This is actually my mom and my grandmother. And then I have some more family members here and down here and just a few other things on this board. Um, I'm going to do a whole nother video about my art. I have a lot of art pieces out here so I want to have time to really talk you through those. Um, over the door I have a tea towel hung up with some magnets. This one actually has Davy's birthday embroidered on it. And then over here I have some other tea towels to choose from and my apron. And then back here behind the door this one panel is pegboard instead of shiplap. So I've got my rulers and some scissors, embroidery hoops, different tools. I'm really, really excited about this. Um, and then I also picked up a little um, thermometer. So I can see the coldest it got yesterday was 37. I wanna know kind of how cold and how hot it's getting out here so I can decide what to store and what to take inside. I've got all my thread, my hammer, my a uh, portable ironing board. Down there is a toolbox. Um, then in this little corner I also have my tripod and monopod. Then moving out I've got my bookshelf and this little um, tray to put my shoes in. So the main problem I'm having or the main challenge, I want Davy to be able to come out here so I can use it more often. So I have to figure out how to put like the more dangerous things out of his reach. So down at the bottom, I just have some different books and notebooks and magazines. That box on the left is my needle felting. Then moving up, I have sewing, my sewing kit. I'm still kind of moving things around into their drawers and stuff. And up here is all the chocobals. <laughs> so these are out of his reach. I think um, some of these things may have to come back in the house, like the wax seal stuff might melt out here in the summer, but it's winter right now. So I have like push pins and pin back badges and staples and all kinds of fun stuff. At some point I'll probably label it all. Uh, this is like a typewriter ribbon tin, which is really cool. My friend Rochelle made this little basket. Um, then I have paper clips in here, matches, a matchbox. Then up here are the really dangerous things. <laughs> so I have a guillotine paper cutter, a zine stapler. This is like a die cutting machine, but I want to try to, I bought it used to try to use as a mini printing press. So I'm really excited to try that out soon. And then just some different rulers and um, cutting mats and things like that there. Up here, I have a giant guillotine paper cutter, which I definitely want out of Davy's reach. And then that's the Ikea paper roll. And just some other things that I wasn't sure where to put for now. My wax seals and matches and another stapler. So moving on, I have this is my loft ladder. It moves. It doesn't live here permanently, but this is where it lives for now. I, I want to paint it white, but I haven't gone that far. This is a big stick, or rather kudzu vine, uh, that I foraged from Camp Marydale, my Girl Scout camp growing up. Um, actually, it's pretty handy because this little hook right here, um, I can use it to grab things out of the loft um, without using the ladder. So it is pretty, but it's also handy. Hope I'm not making you too dizzy. Um, this is mostly washi tape, but you can see there's also some binder clips in there. These are like, you know, that product called a Buddha board. 
This is kind of like that, but I made it myself. It's water activated paper. I thought when Davy gets a little older, maybe he would like to paint on this while I work. So I have a few of those. I think I have a video how I made them. I'll try to link that. Then I have this metal tray to put my shoes in. I swap them out for slippers when I'm out here, at least for now, because it's winter and it's cold. Then I decided to put a day bed because, well, for a lot of reasons. I, you know, the creative process also includes rest and I want, I didn't want to have to sit in a straight back chair all the time. I was actually at first looking for an armchair, but then I saw this used. It was dark brown, uh, but we chalk painted it and kind of aged it. And so now I could take a nap out here. I could lay and read. I could lay and sew or weave or crochet. Uh, I love the, I didn't know they made day bed um, bedding. I wanted something that looked kind of vintage and I love the color of this and the pillows that came with it. There's a little more detailing on the bed. So up here I have a gallery wall and I think I'm just going to do a whole separate video about my art, the art that I've collected and have here and around um, because a lot, there are a lot of different artists that I would love to give shout outs, so I think I'm just going to do a whole separate video for that. This um, cuckoo clock doesn't work, but I thrifted it for like $20, so I would love to get it working or at least get um, some numbers on it again. Uh, the numbers I think is like $5 to replace, so that's kind of like a project piece there. Um, and then let's just look at the loft. So the loft is not totally, like I just have some stuff up there right now. I have a few different ideas for how I want to utilize that space, but for now it's just kind of um, storage for some stuff. And then up here I just have a shelf. I, I really wanted to put my typewriter up there, but you couldn't really see it. So I swapped it out for a few different different things and then moving down down I have a reading lamp here another Ikea well an Ikea cart this time um, I have like some yarn up front and then some different things going down below this is a stool that mom and I recovered well, mostly mom. <laughs> I was more like her assistant for that um, with the extra fabric left over from Davy's rocking chair. Back here I have some photography stuff that I've just kind of hidden away. This, let me see, maybe I should show you the whole piece of furniture. This is a corner cabinet that was mom's. I think she bought it in the 70s, maybe the eight, I think the 70s. Um, so it's always been in our house and it's passed on to me. And it's turned out to be great because it can put these sewing machines down here so Davy cannot um, turn all the knobs on the serger. And then back there, I have a podcasting, um, I don't even know what to call it, but it's like um, to keep the echo down, it has foam, uh, like egg carton on the inside, and then you put your podcast mic in there. I haven't used that yet, but... Um, I bought it mostly for when I record my audiobook um, for the book that I'm writing. So that drawer needs two hands, or that door needs two hands to close. I'm just going to leave it, leave it open while I'm filming. Uh, this drawer works, but I haven't really, it's just got stuff in it right now. Uh, these are some things I don't mind Davy kind of pulling down to play with. I bought this little frog in Mexico. It's supposed to be a musical instrument. I don't really have the knack for it. <laughs> um, my Alfonso Mucha biscuit tin. Then moving up here I have my breakables, some different teacups if I ever want to have a tea party all that's out here and then um, some exacto knives and stuff I want out of Davy's Reach. Back there I've got some cyanotype, cyanotype, cyanotype um chemicals to do that and I want to fill this up with water so I have a place for water that I can use to wash my brushes or make a cup of tea and just more 
kind of china cabinet stuff in here because there wasn't room for all of it in the house anymore. So that's that. It's not kind of finalized, but that's what I've put in there for now. And then I have a bunch of baskets on top and then Nathan added cup hooks so I could have my teacups displayed, which is a detail that I really love. And then above, I just have some different things that I've collected over the years. My little shelves. Let's see if I can back up so you can see them all. It's just hard to get a good angle for everything. You can obviously see right, right above me is the ceiling fan, which lights it up pretty well at night and also uh, cools it off when it's hot weather. And I've got my Stars Hollow. Um, it's not really a poster, it's very large print. And then back here, I actually have like an alternative. I don't know if you can see that. There's my National Novel Writing Month. I kind of am going to switch out this piece um, seasonally. So this, I was really excited about um, storing like fabric in those little cubby holes, but Davey has taken it over. So it's got some of his toys in here, like basically anything that he's happy to play with while mama gets to work is what's going to be in this. Oh no, my battery's dying. Let's see how far we can get. There's his slippers for when it's cold out here. And then this side opens up. He loves, loves playing with tape measures. So that's why that's there. At some point I may take it over, but for now it's his. And then, um, some of my branch pencils. This has uh, different teas in it. My Beatrix Potter tin, a treacle tin. I'm probably gonna put teaspoons in that, but I haven't brought them out here yet. A little mini kettle so I can make tea. Different tins with different things in them. Uh, that little accordion file has like collage materials then I haven't made the nice <laughs> the nice pretty labels for these yet but I put sticky notes while I'm trying to figure out what goes in which box and then this is a piece that we did for the studio it was like a dark wood and it was pretty dingy and also the drawers didn't have sides so we um kind of you can see all my drawers are junky <laughs> I haven't really moved things in proper, um, but we added these so it would be more sturdy and I might put some base in there to cover all the drawers have little holes, but for now it's not bothering me. And then I can actually label all of these. I changed out the handles um, and painted it. This is leftover paint from the outside of the studio. So then we've come to my typewriters. Um, they ended up all going here together and another little gallery wall and my printing press drawer. And we'll see if we can finish this tour before the battery dies. <laughs> this is like a little sewing kit that comes open. It just has random things in it. Um, may have to switch out what's in there actually thinking about Davey might get in it. Then I've got my desk and these little baskets are new to me. I hunted and hunted to find the right thing so I could really utilize the space on those shelves. This chair is another thing that we've refinished, mom and I, while we were waiting for the shed to arrive. Uh, it was actually a Halloween chair, but I love the lyre. Um, I don't know if any of you have read the Emily Starr books, but I really love the lyre because of those books. And then a Kath Kidston seat. Um, of course, a big rug, just so that it isn't too cold on the ground. And then up here I have a lamp. My These are also Ikea. I can't remember the name of them, but we kind of like remade them to look like library drawers. So they can hold different things that I want to have close by. Um, yeah, and then I've got these sugar molds to hold some of my supplies. They're actually vintage antique sugar molds, which I love. And then a treat, another treacle tin with some watercolor pencils, some more bits and bobs. Over here I have another sugar mold with some paintbrushes. And then moving back, 
I have um, this giant white thing is to hold my camera. Um, so for years I've kind of fought with different tripods and I finally broke down and bought a C stand and I am loving it. It kind of stood out really badly when it was new, but I spray painted it white and you it's not like you can't see it, but it does really blend in with the ceiling and the walls. Um, so it's not too bad, especially for how helpful and handy it is. So I'm gonna make a whole video about that. And then up there I have one more shelf and I put some glass, colored glass things in the little um, dormer window. So that's it. I think we did just squeak this in. Maybe that'll keep me from making the tour video too long. So this is it. Um, this is just kind of like the sweeping grand overview. If you have any questions or something that you'd like to see more about, I'm definitely going to make a video about all the artwork that I have out here and all of the artists that I brought in to inspire me in my space. Um, but that's it for now. And hopefully we'll have a lot more videos out here, a lot more process, a lot more sharing the creative process. And um, yeah, so I'm really excited uh, to have this space. And let me know if you have any questions. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos. I'm so rusty. I haven't vlogged in forever. Um, but I am going to be trying to post here more regularly. So I'll see you next time.